It is my pleasure to introduce our undergraduate commencement speaker from the College of Engineering and Computing. Today, Ms. Deja Mo Williams will be awarded a Bachelor of Science degree in Engineering Management. Ms. Deja Mo Williams of St. Louis, Missouri plans to give back to our community by teaching minority students STEM topics through hip hop music. With internship experience from Anheuser-Busch, John Deere, Toyota, and Apple, she will start her career as a manufacturing engineer at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Deja is a member of the National Society of Black Engineers and served as the president of the Missouri S&T chapter. Her passion is creating a more sustainable world while improving the lives of others. It is my pleasure to present to you Ms. Deja Mo Williams. I'd like to start off by asking the December class of 2017 to reflect on how you got here, who got you here, and what got you here. I've been asked a million times why I chose to attend Missouri s and When the men to women ratio was rumored to be four to one, the athletic program isn't the main focus. The number of African Americans is substantially low and it's challenging. But while others saw this as a deal breaker, I saw this institution as an opportunity to defy all odds, to solve complex problems, to simply dig deeper as minors should. This was an opportunity to add to the number of black, female, and student athletes who earn a degree in the STEM field. To fail my first calculus test, but bounce back with an A in Calc 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> to, forget my first, to forget my transcript during my first interview and receive that, thank you for applying. However, we will not be moving forward with your application email. I know we all know that one. But learning the importance of preparation through COER and landing an internship my freshman year. I eventually hit a major roadblock though. My sophomore year, I was forced to choose between my full ride basketball scholarship and a co-op at Anheuser-Busch. Initially, it was tough crying nights, many calls back home. I know you remember that, Mom. Because basketball was a huge part of my identity. Basketball was how I afforded to attend college. But I took a leap of faith, as we all will be doing once we walk across the stage. And I withdrew from my scholarship and headed to Anheuser to start my new journey. After my co-op, I attended St. Louis Community College due to my inability to afford s and I felt like a failure. I was back home, living with my parents, playing basketball in a lower division. A very humbling experience, but one that I wouldn't change for the world. Because it's one step backward, because this one step backward opened many doors for me to grow and help others. I became a mentor for students aspiring to attend s and And although I didn't attend s and the name spoke volumes as I earned internships at John Deere, where I learned to redesign manufacturing layouts, and Toyota, where I learned to implement lean processes and search for the root cause of a problem. After those opportunities, I saved up my money and returned with a greater appreciation for this campus. Upon my return, 
I became the president of the National Society of Black Engineers, a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I see y'all. A member of Epsilon Mu Eta Honor Society. I even interned at Apple, where I witnessed the iPhone 7 from concept to launch. I learned to conduct business globally and work past language barriers. I met Tim Cook. And also for NASA, where I ate lunch with engineers who work, whose work is orbiting other planets. And the Mars rover sat nearly an arm's length away from my desk. Accomplishments beyond my wildest dreams. And now I'm here, standing before you, moments away from receiving my degree, and weeks away from starting my full-time job as a manufacturing engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. I'm gonna be building spaceships, y'all. <laughs> what a ride it has been. I hope you all take from this that failures are inevitable, but only last momentarily. And making the best of any situation will serve to your advantage in the long run. Now is our time to make more tough decisions. What offer to take, what grad program to attend, or what city to live in. But as you're making these decisions, think back to my initial questions and decide, how will you get there? Who will get you there? And what will get you there? And by sitting where you are today, I'm sure you'll all do fine. Thank you.